Good morning guys. Today is another day in the life video except today I'm going to show you how to successfully do school in the playground. So it's a beautiful fall morning and I promised my kids yesterday that we were going to go to the playground after school and then we didn't get a chance to do it so I had a lot of disappointed little faces. So I figured that today we would start our school day at the playground. So um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Vani and this is Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and I make videos to help you on your homeschooling journey. Sometimes it's good when you guys are just doing the same thing every day to get out of the house and get the kids into a different environment. and it's great to have that on a Friday, right? What better day to have some fun than on a Friday? I have three children that I homeschool. I have a four-year-old, a nine-year-old, and a 13-year-old. And then I babysit another little one twice a week. And then I homeschool, I help homeschool another child every day. So those two girls are coming over. They're gonna be on their way here soon. And so right now I have my son up and he's doing his math test at Beast Academy because we can't take this with us and I don't want to have to come home and do it because I don't know how tired we're going to be or how late it's going to be. Um, so I want to get that out of the way. So what I'm doing right now is I'm packing in their, oof, just got blinded by the sun. Packing in their backpacks. So I have his backpack here. And right now we're taking a break from his language arts. He uses the good and the beautiful language arts. To brush up on our story writing, take some time on that because he has an assignment in his language arts. He has to write a short story and he's having trouble. So what we're doing right now is this Usborne Write and Draw Your Own Comics. And this gives him uh, details on different ways to write. And I know they're comics, but it'll help to give him some ideas to create different stories so that he can just elaborate on them when he has to write an actual short story. And we're also going to be reading a um, short story here. He's going to be reading Tom Thumb today. Just to get an idea of what a short story that's not a chapter book entails. And then for history, I already did all of our history for the week. But we are reading Benjamin West and his cat Grimalkin as we are learning early American history. I also do song school Spanish with the kids. So I do have the CD in here. We're going to listen to the CD in the car. And any lessons that we have for the end of the week for this, we're going to do that before we even get out of the car. Now in here, I'm going to pack my kindergartner's work, which is just going to be reading. And Hi. that's it. This is my kindergartner. And she's learning to write. Oh, she wrote her name. Hi, mom. And his. Good job, Arlen. Arlen is four. Right? Okay, so we're gonna we're doing this book and then she's gonna be doing her math now, which is the good and the beautiful math. We are not taking this with us. We're gonna do this before we go because there's too many manipulatives to take with us. We keep her math manipulatives in a plastic bin like this, and then I just grab her book from here. We're gonna do that. So this book is gonna go in here. Also, what's going to go in there is the little girl that I teach. She's going to get math today. Her math lesson is quick. She does Dimensions Math by Singapore. And she's going to be doing her Level K, Good and the Beautiful, Mom, which is Advanced days. Kindergarten Regular First Grade. And then for the little preschooler that I have, she's going to get to play at the playground. Since this is all one-on-one -on -one work that I'm doing with them today, whoever's not doing their one-on-one -on -one time gets to play. So we're going to keep it light today, keep it fun. So also if you're packing, um, if you want to keep this a light and easy trip, just pack snacks. I don't pack lunches. It becomes too much for four kids. I think my 13 year old is going to stay in bed. I let her wake up uh, later than the other kids and then she gets started with the school day. She does it independently. So I do need to check her work from this week though. I've been slacking on that. I need to get that done. I'm going to get that done when I come home. It's one of the reasons why I want to not do so much school. So today for, we're not packing full lunches. We're definitely going to bring waters and just a little snack. So for the kids, all I'm doing is bringing a bag of pretzel sticks. That's it. And then for myself, some plantain chips. So I'm just making sure everybody does have breakfast. So nobody's hungry when we get there. 
bring in those waters and then I'm gonna show you our little setup oh you also want to make sure that you don't need anything extra like in since I'm bringing math I'm gonna go through the math and see if she needs any manipulatives and see if I need to bring any manipulatives and do not forget the pencils So now that the girls have gotten here, I'm still doing math with my kids. So they're gonna they're playing with Legos right now. It's the first thing that my preschooler likes to do when she gets in here. So we have some classical music going on. We're gonna do that Beast Academy. Then mom. Alan's doing her patterns. Great job. Now let's do the next pattern. She's learning A B B A patterns. A B B patterns. Okay, so my son finished his math test, and so right now he's gonna read that Tom Thumb book. Alan's gonna finish her math and I'm gonna pack waters. Once I'm done packing waters and getting the kids in the cars, um, we're gonna head out. Okay, so I've packed the waters. I have a little car here to pull the preschooler in. I put the air on in the car right now. I'm gonna pack everything up in the car. Cut the waters. I, um, I figured out what we're gonna have for dinner. That way that stuff is done. And then my son read his book and I, we talked about the beginning, the middle and the end parts of the story so that he can see what goes in the beginning, what goes in the middle and what goes in the end. So now I'm about to pack the car and put everything in there that I need. Everybody else use the bathroom before we go because one person has to go to the bathroom at the playground everybody has to stop playing just to go back to the bathroom so always make sure they pee pee before they leave okay so I'm gonna put in this song school Spanish and today's our last day so we're gonna review all the songs that we learned we're supposed to just we're gonna do all the songs for the week there it is all right Here I am. get out of your seatbelts but before we get out of the car you have to pass the Spanish test what? you have oh, to God. have a conversation oh, no. with me okay? okay me first how do you say mother Madre. okay so you're gonna say to me how are you mommy how are you mother in Spanish you're gonna say hi mom how are you how do I say how? Hi, mom. Okay, so I'm gonna say hi, Alan. Oh, how yeah. are you? Hola. Hola. Like Hola. Hola, madre. Ask me how I am. Remember the song? How are you? Como, yes. Como estas? There you go. So you said, Hola, madre. Como estas? Est Gracias. Estoy feliz. Como. ¿Cómo estás, hija? ¿Cómo estás, madre? Well, you have to answer to me now. Estoy... Estoy bien. ¿Cómo te llamas? Yeah. Me? Me llamo Adelina. Ajá, you passed. Oh. Y yo no sabe lo que pasa. Oh, el primer verso, papi. Okay, we made it. And we are going to get started. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, we're going to do language arts. When you're working with one student or two students, you let the other kids play. And that way everybody gets a turn playing and doing work. And then at the end of the day, they can all play together.
Okay, so we had a successful day here. I just put the kids in the car because my daughter just got hurt, but I just wanted to end this really quickly. I calmed her down, did the swing with her, and now they're under seatbelt, so I just want to end this real quick. Um, they have the air on and the movie's on, so um, just want to say that, you know, tips to preparing for schooling outside the house. Make sure you have everything you need. Make sure you have enough water. Make sure you have snacks and make sure you have band-aids. I stuck three band-aids in my pocket this morning and we used two of them already. So now we're headed home. School's all done. Well, one of my students has a little bit of math to do. Uh, then we're going to have lunch, wash up and get to that math and then just have a free day until later. Perfect timing because my battery's dying. If you guys like this, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.